Well, hi, everybody. Bud Palmer. Welcome to the southern coast of California, where our show today is obviously on surfing, a violent, rugged sport that is rapidly gaining popularity all over the globe. I have no idea what it means, but to me it means a scary place. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's some evilness out there. That place will, <laughs> it'll hold you down and down and down. Uh, why is, is fresh water in Hawaiian and, and Maya's, I guess it would be red. When the river flows real hard, you get a lot of red, red soil that washes off from the inland valley, and, and that's where it gets its name. You know, in, in some ways, maybe more challenging than Waimea, but to me, Waimea was like the, you know, the Mount Everest of the surfing world, and that's kind of still what it is. Over the past two weeks, San Diego has seen more than its fair share of big waves, but that's nothing compared to the show nature is putting on in Hawaii. Sean Stiles reports. The headlines on the Honolulu advertiser read 40 feet, which kept most out of the water, but attracted photographers from around the world. San Diegan Rick Doyle, who's known for his surf photography, flew to Hawaii to capture the huge waves on film for his upcoming film. Rick went to the only place that could hold that size of surf, Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu. In my lifetime, yeah, it's the biggest surf I've ever seen. It's the biggest surf I've ever photographed. It's, um, I'd seen 25 foot plus waves, but nothing where a left breaks all the way across Waimea Bay. I've never seen that. That was. Uh, that was history for me in my, in my lifetime. It just looked way out of control, way too dangerous. In fact, I got suited up and I, I was gonna try to get to the outside and a wave closed out across the bay and I said, There's, this is out of anybody's control here. The other side of the bay has those rocks and there's nowhere to go. When it starts closing out, nobody really has any business being out there. You'll get washed into the rocks and die. 